beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed if the word of god is not changing you i'm not just talking about born again if the word of god is not changing you if the word of god is not changing your character your attitude your mindset hallelujah if you've been coming here for a while and you still hold on to the ideologies that you've had if there is nothing that is compelling you to change, to drop those old ideologies, be it cultural, be it religious, be it demonic, be it worldly, be it carnal. If there is no force that compels you to lay down the ideology that you've had, then you are not growing. Hallelujah. When a man truly has an encounter with God, one of the things that must happen is transformation. 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 A change of mindset. A change of values. A change of ideology. A change of perception. Something must happen to your mentality. Listen. The word of God is a programming. The word of God is a programming. I told us last week, I went somewhere for a, a crusade and they were asking me, they said, what is the advice to Nigerian youth? I said, I don't have any advice for the Nigerian youth. The Nigerian youth, they don't need an advice. They need a programming, a change. Are you getting my point now? A change. Let me have someone. Aaron, good to see you hallelujah watch this if this is the direction aaron is headed all right if he's following this direction i hope you know that he's taking this step based on a mindset is that true based on an ideology based on a conviction whether academic whether cultural whether religious it doesn't matter now what the word of god does is that when you collide with god through his word there must be a force from the word greater than the force that was initially driving you and that force changes your state this is what we call repentance to repent is not just to confess your sin to repent is to lay down the ideology that take you into that realm and bring you into a new philosophy so that we can look at you and see that your thinking pattern has changed let me tell you if your thought life does not change if your mindset does not change you can limit god in your life hallelujah the bible says they limited god in the wilderness as mighty as god is a man's mentality can limit god for a long time god wanted to bless abraham 
but the mindset of the traditional worship the mindset of the culture he was coming from limited god god kept beckoning on him i want to make you a father of nations i want to make you great but abraham's mind could not cooperate with that which the spirit wanted to do and one day the lord said abraham come out of your house I, I i need to do something to your mind to align with my purposes for your life abraham come out he said now look at the stars let me give you something to play around with and when he tried counting the stars he said can you count them he said no he said so shall thy seed be finally abraham believed god and it was counted unto him for righteousness hallelujah the power of God is not short to change and bring miracles and breakthroughs. It's just that we have been taught. And, and, and it's my job in the body of Christ to always address imbalances and error. On one side, we've been taught that everything depends on God. You have no role to play. You just be born again and there is a smooth ride. Common sense teaches you that it does not make sense. Are you following me now? Then on the other hand we have men who are struggling just using concepts alone and human philosophy forgetting that there must be a god factor in the equation of your life both extremes are very very wrong all through scripture from genesis to revelation there has always been a partnership between god through his spirit and a willing vessel that can pay the price and allow his mindset to subscribe to the higher values of heaven hallelujah the difference between brother a and brother b is not the color of their skin is their degree of alignment to the holy spirit how much they have submitted their mindset to take up the higher mindset of the values listen the bible says my thoughts are higher than your thoughts is that true and and that word the, the the greek word word there word of god is logos it means the thoughts of god so the word of god gives you his ideology when you read my books you study my persuasions you study my convictions is that true so if you stay long enough with my books and you open up yourself to the influence of my thought patterns you will begin to think like me even if you've never met me we will talk as though we've been together this is the ministry of the word it's not just to make us speak christian language no the word of god is supposed to transcend it produces a force that force compels your mind to change to align to spiritual things so that when god wants to pass through your life your ideologies will not resist him hallelujah bless you Aaron. everybody say transformation are you being transformed it's not enough to come to church and sit down and keep writing is the word of god changing you you can limit the power of the word of god some of you can choose to walk out of this place wow nice sermon so this is how koinonia is like wonderful i'm impressed i'm blessed that can be your the the, the things that you are carrying back home and someone else can sit down and say lord i'm aware that my mindset is the reason why i am where i am my mindset has been limiting your work in my life you want to bless me but there's something in my life that resists you you want to lift me you want to make me great but there's something and i am aware so i come to man he needs to step into your soul realm and take complete charge of your mind your mindset so that your ideologies are a derivative of the word of god not culture there are aspects of culture that are good there are aspects of culture that are devilish devilish they were crafted out by wicked men sponsored by spirits that are not under the influence of the spirit of god and many of us have grown up with these ideologies and although you've gone to school although you are working although you are married that mindset is stopping god from doing certain things in your life many of us have gotten mindsets by from our past you have a mindset concerning fatherhood 
you have a mindset concerning marriage you have a mindset concerning money concerning prosperity concerning poverty concerning god concerning the holy spirit these are all mindsets that have been given unto us by a system that does not honor god so when we come into his presence we do not come just to say lord add to what i have sometimes you need to say lord open me up like a surgery right and pick out everything that does not align with your divine pattern everybody say transformation listen if the word of god is truly changing you then regardless of the fact that aaron is from kaduna state and ken is from the east you should have similarities in mindset because you have you have laid down your personal culture to pick up the excellence of the culture of a higher kingdom hallelujah but the issue is that many of us love seeing the power of god we love seeing the grace of god we love seeing people fall under the anointing and miracles happen and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that is the word of god changing you the, the decisions you made last year if you still make those decisions today in spite of the power of god's word then that's what they call frustrating the grace of god hallelujah the bible says the days of our ignorance god overlooks right so if you do not know god can create a system by his mercy to help you but where the word of the lord comes it comes to build you it comes to take you out of your current position hallelujah say i allow the word of god to change me say it i allow the word of god to change me the worst evil you can do to yourself is to hold on to your mindset hold on to what you had that made you such a failure it was the failure that brought you to the presence of god and now god is saying lay down this thing pick up another culture that can take you your ministry is grounded because of a mindset that is keeping you lay down that mindset and pick up another your marriage is not working because there is a mindset that is keeping you your relationship is not working because there is a mindset men run away from you because there is a mindset women run away because there is a mindset the power of god is far favor is far from your life because there is an ideology that stands as an antichrist but when you come to god's presence he tells you lay down this mindset lay down this mindset that's your own responsibility to say lord all my life i've been taught that you must be a hustler to make it hit it left right and center i saw my father hustling i saw my mother hustling i saw my elder ones hustling and god says uh -uh, the kingdom of god is not haphazard come and let me teach you how the economic system of the kingdom works and you're like lord is there even a system and he says yes there is you can walk circumspectly hallelujah all your life you've always known that if a lady wants to marry she'll go to a herbalist with the picture of the person he wants to marry and one goat that's all you've seen people around you dragging goats to herbalist to chain a brother and force him to get married that's how you know it to be done now you are ready to get married and they say oh yeah where is your own goat and god is saying uh-uh uh-uh he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her mate so a new ideology starts coming and i'm telling you if you are changing it will create blessings and create persecutions at the same time because you live in an environment with people who have refused to change so your change begins to frustrate them if they are not fighting you you are not changing are you hearing what i'm saying something must change about your life everyone is used to bribing if you want job give this person 
through the back door 50,000 and they tell you look we are all Christians in fact I'm a pastor as you see me like this we all did it and the moment you want to do that a scripture rises up in you something changes is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am and a scripture wells up in you what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness and you turn and tell them i'm going to cry but my god will give me this job i will not bribe anybody no bribery and they say look at how stupid you are talking nigeria this thing has been there he said uh -uh, i may be a nigerian but i function from another realm there is a kingdom that sponsors my life and i'm an ambassador and i can call on the embassy i represent it may take a while i may look stupid but god is able to make it happen the moment you speak you mount pressure on god because he's the one you are representing and for the sake of his reputation you cause him to step down but many of us are ashamed at such points you say i went to school how can i start talking about embassy heaven i please let's let's be reasonable what is fifty thousand? hallelujah before now your ideology has been the quickest way to be rich is pin down one rich man just find a rich even if he's not born again you will change him pin him down force him to marry you that's how they've been taught and there are many people here as you are sitting down some is your parents they've indirectly warned you they say have we not suffered in this life they say yes we have suffered say do you want us to continue like this they say no sir they say complete the puzzle by yourself what they are telling you indirectly is that no matter how born again this brother is once he has not arrived the promises are not there pack your load and go and some of you that's how you are looking and god is sending a very godly brother you are seeing him pray here he's sweating in your presence he's hearing the word of god that can change but because he has not gotten to canaan while you are sitting down kicking away men you will see a quick work that god will do in him all of a sudden saul who was a slave or a, 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 a somebody else will come in power and glory and you will now look and say ah oh god why didn't you show me a vision that this guy would change so fast say mindset say it some of you are already angry it's too early i've not started preaching it's too early this night could it be that there is a mindset that is frustrating you there are many pastors who are suffering and struggling in ministry because their mindsets about ministry will never change i said it last week they are looking for lifting quickly they want everybody to call them a pastor you call them aaron they say aaron you didn't add pastor that's a mindset because you think that is the title that gives the dignity He said if you call yourself the children of abraham do the works of abraham prove that you are the children of abraham indeed you don't move around saying i'm an apostle i'm a prophet i'm a teacher he said let her works speak for her at the gates who is god speaking to tonight your mindset is limiting him your mindset is limiting god your mindset is limiting God. Every brother that comes to marry you, something happens and he leaves. We have prayed for you. We knew the day you were delivered. So we are sure you are delivered. But things have not changed. That means there is a mindset problem. Listen, it's not everything that is demons. You must learn to take responsibility. Many of us receive solace in the fact that demons, when you hear them say it's not your fault, you say yes, I've always known. It's your fault this night you must take responsibility i've always known from my father's house they want to kill me but you were delivered everybody saw that god changed you why have things not changed because your mindset is a bigger demon 
an antichrist that is standing between Canaan and Egypt. Hallelujah. There are Christians who still cheat in the exam hall. They say, forget it. I saw a pastor doing it with my own eyes. Ah, I even know him. If I mention his name, I saw him. So what? Hallelujah. What about living all kinds of immoral life? In the world, the primary purpose of relationship is for immorality. It's not even for marriage. It's just a, an official way of looking for a partner to be sleeping around with. So when a guy thinks he doesn't have enough courage to look around for ladies, he goes to find somebody and say, okay, we're in a relationship. They don't even know where they are going. Hallelujah. And there are believers who love God. Some of you are here, you are looking at me. You see, I'm not condemning you, but I'm saying that, 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 that God must come face to face with the world. And when it comes, one must bow. You cannot embrace these things and say, let's go together. It can go, we can walk it. No, you cannot walk it. Light and darkness cannot stay in the same place. Don't say it does not matter. Let me tell you the truth. If you want to see the authentic glory of God in your life, no, it matters. And I always say this because many of us here are young people. Don't let anybody fool you and say everybody is doing it. No, sir. There are people who have tapped into a higher law. The Bible says, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Until you climb that hill, it does not look like it's possible. Are you getting my point? I counsel people, I talk to people, and there are people who come and say, I love God, but I, women, hey, I, I can't see women. I don't, ah, is, is it really true that there are people who are keeping themselves? It's not by determination. Hallelujah. If it's by determination, maybe I would have had children that, that would do children's service for koinonia. But there is a grace that takes you. So although you are human, people say, I beg, Jare, you are flesh and blood. No, but there is a spirit that lives inside you. The Bible says, know ye not that your body, listen, choose to believe this this night. Don't let it sound childish to you. Choose to believe. If it was not possible, God would be a wicked person for putting that as a principle. Hallelujah. Transformation. There are some of us who can kill for money. That's your own mindset. You overcame ladies from bed. You don't even have a problem with ladies. Because you, you want to make it. Even if a lady stands naked in your front, once there's no money on her, you are living. You are not. The devil, can, the devil has been defeated when it comes to that one. But money. Ha ha ha. You can be dying if they wave money, you come back to life. There are people like that. They love money. They can just put money on their table and just be looking at it like this. They are not using it. It's, it's, doing, it's like a drug they are taking. Your worst time in church is when they say giving. Of all sorts, even if they don't mention you, the fact that somebody else is going to drop money, you take it personal. You are not giving, but just seeing that money is leaving somebody, it is paining you. Something is moving in your body. Advise this guy to take it back. It's a spirit, it's a dangerous spirit. Hallelujah. There are many of us who have certain mindsets of laziness. Laziness. Hallelujah. A man will sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon. You are a man. When do you want to marry next year? Till one o'clock you are still sleeping. And you will see one of our sisters who has been trusting God. Preparing herself like a bride. For a very nice person you just believe that because we say hug one another in koinonia it gives you a license to just get up carelessly and just go and meet a sister and say shabby they said let's get to know one another no are you preparing for that future 
I'm challenging you tonight. Say transformation. What mindset have you refused to drop down? Romans chapter 12. Can you imagine that I've not even touched my message? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Say the word of the Lord is changing me. Say it is changing me. It's building me. Romans chapter 12. Okay. Let's just turn there. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Be ye, how do you get transformed? By the renewing of your mind. You get transformed when you take your mind to the theater of the spirit and a surgery is performed the spirit of God himself and the surgical knife is the word of God that is able to cut across the bones and the marrows and it opens you up and begins to edit your life and when it is done you come back a brand new person hallelujah there are many of us those around you who are unbelievers there's no pressure that your life is bringing to them in fact they are more they are comfortable a guy can i'm not talking of condemnation and just pointing fingers at people and say you are going to hell no but that there is an illumination that your transformation can bring to anybody that is not serious with god that if somebody's prayer life is dying he doesn't even need to tell you all he needs to say is can i come and spend weekend in your house or in your room and they are so sure that at the end of three days something will change in their lives hallelujah there are some channels if you are walking in sin you will never want to turn to those channels perpetually 24 hours you will hear a message almost immediately within a space of five minutes that will judge you dove tv redeemed rtm you know that once you are doing something wrong you want to look for another channel that can accommodate what you are doing when you turn to those ones you hear papa adebo just give five minutes something is already flogging the nonsense in you can your life be like that that people are gossiping and and talking stories about others and as soon as you step in everybody just keeps quiet because a true ambassador stepped in one who will not compromise not that when you step in say hey come add add to this discussion what what were you even saying that day no hallelujah that in your office when they are mentioning men and women of integrity your name must be mentioned and they know that no if you want to throw this person try it another way bribery will not work even if it means him being demoted just forget it there is no issue of having a meeting with him it will not happen come on now listen if this is not happening in this place then we are wasting our time i don't care how many people fall on the ground roll on the ground even if you float in the air if it does not translate to transformation in your life then we are lying somewhere hallelujah so is your mindset changing ask your neighbor say is your mindset changing What did he tell you? 
Ask him who can verify that you are changing. You can't call somebody that you bought something for in the afternoon to verify whether you are changing or not. The answer will certainly be yes. Your enemy is the only person with the right to testify whether you truly fear God or not. It was Satan that came to testify about Job. Is that true? Satan himself, he said, ah, no, come on now. I've seen a man, Job. Satan, the father of all liars, a man's integrity compels Satan to tell the truth. He said, I know, I'm a liar. I can twist things, but this one, there's nothing I can say against this man. May that be your testimony. That somebody can look at you and say, I know, I hate Ken. Let me tell you, I hate him. But when you are talking about a man who is a Christian indeed, I'm an, I, I'm an unbeliever. As you see me, I don't fear God. I, let me go to hell, but I can tell you, this person, have you seen people like that? They don't respect God. They look at you and say, see, see cigarette in my pocket. But I can point to you who are the real men of God. And you even be talking. It was in Antioch when unbelievers called this set of people Christians. Those who were behaving like Christ. Not religiously. Something had happened to them. See, if your mindset does not change and you are trying to fake it, it will frustrate you. Are you getting what I'm saying? One day you will be tired. If you don't have a revelation of giving and you are giving, 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 one day when there's nobody, you say, Kai, I'm tired, honestly. Thank God this, my wicked roommate, is not going to follow me for koinonia today. I'm tired. That's how you can see many people serve in the body of Christ. Immediately they leave to another geographical location within two or three months. They've changed in a way. You'll be like, ah, uh ah. -uh. This brother used to lead prayers. What suddenly happened? They really did not get it. I'm telling you. There is a way you get it. It becomes like a cancer in you. No matter how much you fall, you can't go too far. The, the, the fraternity is too much. It's like a cult. When you see people claim to love God and two months away from an environment of God's presence, they just change. They really did not get it. You can be among believers i hope you know doing what everybody is doing but everybody knows the foundation and the root where he's standing and the bible says let he that stands take heed lest he falls so number one transformation number two three things that must happen in your life you're ready number two is that your life must bear fruits it must produce results write it fruits results the fruit in a tree is a sign that that tree has been well nourished and that it is alive and growing jesus caused a fig tree not because he did not see green leaves he caused the fig tree because it was taking up nutrients from the earth but it was not producing fruits your life must prove that god is at work in you not just by transformation transformation is good we talk about character and conformity but there must be results in your life everyone say results bishop oyedeko said the end of every argument is proof you don't argue with proof are you getting my point now when john the baptist sent that they should go and ask jesus are you the messiah or should we expect another jesus did not even answer he just turned started healing the sick casting out devils he said go and tell john what you have seen is this not the evidence that was given to him in the wilderness that the messiah would do now see me doing it why are you asking again hallelujah when you are a christian and you are excellent in your job they give you a task to do you do it with with a dimension of intelligence that is not known to those people there is a proof there are you hearing what i'm saying 
when you keep loving God and you get to a point, look, let me tell you, if you serve God with time, everything around your life should change. I'm not one of those people who believes that you should just sit down. Of course, in the process, there are lots of things to contend against, but with time, there must be fruit that sign upon your life that God is with you. Even if you work for the devil, even if you work for the devil, one day, ultimately he's going to destroy you. But at least in the interim, you will reap the, de the, be the evidence of allegiance. Is that true? There are all kinds of worldly people who are about to tag on. And although they are going to hell if they do not repent, but in the interim, they are enjoying heaven on earth. At least that's the consolation to keep them. Satan took Jesus to a mountain and said, Jesus, if you will bow to me, I promise you, I, uh, I have I've not started preaching, you oh. Know. That's the problem. You will just look now and see that it's past nine. I wish there was a way I can throw all these clocks out of this, this place. There's so much in my spirit to share. Hallelujah. Everybody say results. Say proofs. If you claim God is calling you in a healing ministry, it's okay that when we start, nothing is happening. But with time, there should be the signature of God upon your healing ministry. I do not know any healing evangelist who organizes a crusade and God does not confirm it. If he's a true healing evangelist, somebody should be sick somebody should arise from the wheelchair i do not know one true person who carries the apostolic spirit of god who struggles with fear and timidity and does not have the power of faith and the work of god in their lives i do not know one person like that except they are just talking stories are you getting what i'm saying say after me in the name of jesus May my life produce results. Many of you, this is the level you are right now. The reason why nobody has listened to you or subscribed to your ideologies is because they have not seen the benefit. Is that true? And, 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 and I want to be very honest with you. Benefit in every area of life. Financially, maritally, job-wise, in every area of your life. No matter how critical people are, let me tell you, proof can close the mouth of anybody. Are you getting me? You can criticize a man. The greatest way to respond to your critics is not by answering. Don't waste your time. They are determined not to understand. Keep trailing the proofs. Let the works keep speaking at the gates. A point will come, those they are talking to will say, I'm tired of hearing your stories. You waste your own proof. Hallelujah. When Jesus hung upon the cross, about to die, the Bible says the atmospheric condition, the climate just changed. And those who looked there, they just remembered and truly they acknowledged. Even in death, they saw something. There are many of us, it will just take one proof. Everybody say one proof. One proof for every unbeliever in your house to bow down. They've grown in poverty. They've suffered in poverty. Although that's not an ultimate reason to push them to God. But trust me, prosperity can bring men to God. Hallelujah. When every herbal medicine has failed, when every black substance, they, they tied in the leather and they told your father to chuck in the pocket of all his trousers to bring prosperity when he has put it in every pocket and it refused to bring prosperity and you come teaching the principles of the kingdom and things begin to change come on now you don't argue with proofs hallelujah may your life produce results in the name of jesus christ May you not be like the barren fig tree. A fig tree with green leaves. That means they are seeing you coming for koinonia. Every week. Every week. To an extent that others can look at you and mock you. And say where is your God. 
I prophesy to you, your God is coming through for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your God is coming through to silence every Pharaoh that attempts to mock your God. Your life will produce results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Results. I believe in results. I believe in results. Many of you are here by the grace of God. Not necessarily because you love me. Some of you don't even love me at all. You don't plan to. It's just that you need the results. Hallelujah. But you are still welcome. And the power of God is such that the results can be reproduced again and again and again. That's why I love the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't need to refrigerate it. You don't need to give your neighbor to keep it for you and collect it on. Except you use talisman. That's why I worship him. Take his presence and his glory out of my life. Many of you will see me on the street and pass as if you just saw a tire on the floor. That's why I feel sad for people who want to come out of inferiority and complex and kick, they kick God out of the equation and they believe they'll be able to rise without him. Impossible impossible if you are tired of your condition the greatest way is to embrace god first hallelujah because god will take you out of every situation results your life must bear fruit in the name of the lord jesus christ say my life must bear fruit go ahead pray in one minute pray in one minute i don't just want us to talk it as stories my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit i've been born again for many years no soul has come to the kingdom as a result of my life lord i'm tired i've been praying for the sick I don't have one verifiable testimony let this change oh god everyone i've prayed for for breakthrough they've returned with worse situations instead of making it better but lord i've told them you are with me change my story the finance of my family has not changed lord i'm not loving you just because of finances but if my finances change my father will follow me to church if my finances change if my loved ones get admission they will come to know you for their sake oh god let there be results in my life please pray i sense that god wants us to pray on this issue my life must bear fruits my life must bear fruits my life must bear fruits oh god i'm tired of a barren and unfruitful christian life my ministry is not growing pray because there's no proof my god people come and they leave if there are real miracles if there are real transformations they will come and stay everyone mocks my family in spite of our spirituality because they have not seen god change our level turn again oh god the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev let men see an evidence that God is with us. Pray. Say, Lord, let the marriage come. Even if it is to prove that Jesus is alive. To prove that the witches and the wizards and the devils in my village do not have the final say. 
Lord, I know that there is a cause of poverty that lingers in my family. But I've confessed your word that it is broken. Let it show in my life as a testament so that idol worship can stop in my family. We have no right to tell men to stop going to Habalis if we cannot produce the proofs that God is with us. We have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get children if we cannot heal the body. We have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get money if we cannot prove that God prospers people. Lift your voice and pray. Get angry. Change my story. Change my story. Oh God, I have served you in spite of the result. But tonight, I hold on to you. Change my story. Pray, Koinonia. There is a spirit of intercession that has come upon the house. Pray. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Prove a point with my life. Make me an object of prayer. Silence the voice of wicked men. Many a day that rise up against me. Many a day that say, Where is his help? But I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the maker of the heavens and the earth. Oh God, let there be a difference between those that serve you and those that do not serve you. Come on, saints of God. Travel for your destiny. There must be an evidence. You have been transformed, but there are no results. There are no results. Men have a right to speak against your God. Lord, hasten my miracle. Come on, pray. Hasten my miracle. Hasten the breakthrough. Please pray. God is answering people in this place. Lord, give my father the job. Although my auntie is past menopause, give her a child as a sign and a wonder that God is alive. Although my sister is 40 years old, give her a husband that men may know that God is alive. Although my father was sacked from the job, give him another one, oh God, to prove that you may be a prophet over my family. Lord, you have vowed to increase my greatness. Produce results in my life. Come on, Koinonia, pray. Produce results in my life that can silence men. Produce results that can prove that my God is alive. I love him more than the results. But in this season, I desire to see the result. Command it. Command it. Increase my greatness. Let the blind see through my hands, O oh God. For your glory. Pray. Let the wheelchair arise to silence principalities and powers. Open the heavens, O oh God. And let prosperity come upon my life where I'll be rejected. No man wants to identify with me. Make me an eternal excellency. Come on, are you praying, Koinonia? And a joy of many generations. Hallelujah. 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 We'll take one prayer point before we settle down. You're going to pray and say, Lord, every power that stops my miracles from the heavenlies so that men will keep mocking my God. Tonight, I command you to give way. Come on, lift your voice and pray. Daniel prayed for 21 days. The angel came and said, Daniel, from the first day that you set yourself to pray, your prayers were answered. 
but the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, pray, I subdue powers, I subdue powers that operate in the heavenlies, territorial spirits, I subdue powers in the heavenly realms, I subdue powers, workers of evil, You must bow there is fire in my life there is fire in my destiny to burn every chaff everything god has not planted shake it off shake it off shake it from your life i shake away witchcraft i shake away divination i shake away enchantment come on now shake it off in the name of jesus no power can stand i am an infant of fire no enchantment no curse can stand against my destiny pray your prayer will bear fruits it will produce results pray the effectual fervent prayer Repetekete is our season of greatness. We went war against poverty. We went war against sickness. We went war against the works of darkness. It's our season to arise. Come on now, pray. Make your life too hot for the devil. Make your life too hot for witches and wizards. Make your life too hot for wicked spirits. Break the yoke from your neck. Break the yoke from your shoulders. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Tell the devil I stand in my priestly and my prophetic office tonight I confront you by myself I confront you by myself I confront you by myself hallelujah listen 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 there must come a time in your life where you stop getting afraid and rise up and say satan i've had the word enough i don't need to wait for friday again come into my room like mount camel let's solve this problem once and for all they've not laid hands on me for nothing they've not laid hands on me for nothing one more time we are going to pray come on pray this is breakthrough prayers this is breakthrough prayers i sense the spirit of prayer and supplication Pray. Enough is enough. Where is the devil? Where is the devil? By the power of the static prayer, resist the devil. He will flee. Hallelujah. 
Mazi akata bari atarushe keteka paragata. Aya. I feel an open heaven. I know when there is an open heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I taught you on the speaking blood. We are going to apply the blood of Jesus. You're going to say, Satan, this is the price to release my destiny. I invoke the blood. Come on now, Koinonia. I invoke the blood. Every sacrifice that has been born and made, I invoke the blood. The blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood. I challenge the gates of hell through the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The Christ. Listen, come, let me have four people. Let me show you what prayer does in the spirit. Let me just have four people stand here. Just, just turn like this. Face it. Stand. Just stand behind. Watch this. Watch this. Someone come and hold this. Anybody? This is your miracle. This is your breakthrough, but watch this. Stand there. Please shift forward. Paul said, listen. He said, a great door and an effectual has been opened unto me. He said, but many, many, many are the adversities. These are the spirits. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places watch this the bible says if any man afflicted let him pray if any man afflicted let him pray when you begin to pray watch this there is a force there is a force of the spirit that begins to mount pressure 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 on all of these things it's an ability of the spirit you push through barriers by the power of god's spirit until you take what belongs to you listen listen that's why god gives you one of the reasons why he gives you the prayer language of tongues praying in your understanding will weary you after 20 minutes the bible says you may not understand the dynamics on how to confront this spirit but when you switch to that prayer language the holy ghost hey yeah, 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 yeah. the holy ghost listen when you begin to pray something in the come on pray
Pataya, Sima Pekete Bokosa, Oliana Bokosa, when your prayer life rises, you must let you go. If you are not afraid, she will not let you go. If you are not afraid, she will not let Hallelujah. See, listen. There is a way you can pray. You will know when you break through. The reason is, the truth is, many believers don't pray. Hallelujah. There is a way you can pray. You will know your spirit is lifted from that realm. You will know an audacity comes upon you. You know you can shake off evil. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Before you sit down, you're going to say in the name of Jesus, I take back everything the devil has taken from my family. Prophesy. Hallelujah. 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 The hand of the Lord is upon me. And I want to prophesy. As I prophesy, the power of God will be causing breakthroughs and restoration. The anointing of the Spirit is strong upon me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every power holding anyone down right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you, let them go. Let them go. Right now. Amen. Let them go. I prophesy breakthrough. Amen. I command breakthrough. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I command breakthrough. Amen. To your family breakthrough. Amen. Financial breakthrough. Amen. Breakthrough in health. Amen. Breakthrough in your academic. Breakthrough in your job. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Declare open heaven. Open heaven. Amen. It's your season to rise. It's your season of greatness. Every power stopping you. We challenge it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please sit down. 
God bless you. Be seated. Your life must become uncomfortable for anything that is not of God. See, I tell you the power of God is I sense such a strong anointing resting on people. As I teach, God is going to be visiting people in very strong ways. Enough is enough. God gave us a word. He said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. I'm not sure I can go into the details of tonight's teaching, but I hope I'll be able to touch. I really have a very serious revelation that I want to share. Let's see how far God can help us wherever we stop. Hallelujah. Genesis 1. Verse 26. The Lord gave us a word that this year for us is a season of light and dominion. It's not just a word like many ministries have a word at the beginning of the year. Hallelujah. Light. He said, they that sat in Nephtah and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light. Genesis 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion let them this man i hope you know that when he was speaking the woman was still in the man because man adam not the name of a man dust hallelujah man was first created body has thou prepared for me hallelujah and then he brought about a separation between the man and the woman but before then he blessed them and he said let them have dominion now listen it is in the character of the spirit that the same word that brings you prophecy is the same word that prepares the way for that prophecy to come to pass are you getting my point the bible says when at the brook cherith when the brook dried he told elijah the prophet he said get thee go down to Zarephath." he said dear i have commanded a widow to feed thee but the woman did not sound like god had informed her a prophet was coming however the same word that took elijah to Zarephath was the same word that softened the heart of the woman so when god gives you a word the word follows you through and make sure that the path is clear until that word comes to pass are you getting what i'm saying so when god said let man have dominion that means there must have been a provision for that man to access what it takes to walk in that dominion hallelujah god does not just speak empty talk it's like sending a man to the market and not giving him money so let's see how God equipped man to exercise dominion in reality. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 2. I wish we had time, but I'll just touch briefly wherever. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 8. And the Lord planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man that he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord to grow every tree that is pleasant in the sight. And good for food. Now watch this. Everybody look up. The Bible says God made every other tree to grow from the ground. Are you following me? However, 
the bible says there were two trees those trees did not grow from the ground follow me are you getting my point the bible says god made to grow every tree please unto the eyes that is good for food then it says the tree of life also also in the midst of the garden and then he says and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil please follow me i want to teach you powerful spiritual laws that can help you to walk in dominion to eat of every tree including the tree of life are you getting my point the first revelation i want you to have is that man's eating the tree of life was not for hunger are you getting me adam could not be hungry he was not in the fallen state are you getting me in the realm of the spirit you don't eat for hunger for hunger you eat for impartation and knowledge that's what food does in the spirit food does not satisfy hunger no no when you eat food like let's say in spiritually now i'm not talking of all these demonic things that people you saw yourself eating suya in the dream that's not what i'm talking about hallelujah you don't eat in the spirit to satisfy hunger food does two things for you in eden's atmosphere one it gives you knowledge two it gives you impartation hallelujah that's why the prophet was giving the word and he ate it when he ate it he did something to him are you getting what i'm saying now watch this everybody write the mystery of forbidden knowledge that's not the topic i want to show you what the two trees were supposed to represent one was the tree of life the other was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil another word was the it, it carried what we call the mystery of forbidden knowledge the word mystery just means hidden truths about a knowledge that god does not want his people to know not because he hates them you must understand this god does not want us to know everything and then i will show you what the angels came and did the fallen angels when they came they did something to the daughters of men are you getting me they took from this forbidden knowledge and they began to feed mankind with it ah. time, 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 time. praise god god categorically warned man he said the trees in the garden of eden every time you eat them they will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying so if you eat of the tree of life it will keep giving you the revelation and the insight to walk in dominion it gives life eating of that tree gives life are you getting me that's the mystery of eternal life adumbrated by that tree that's why when jesus came he said ah uh -uh, man shall not live by bread alone if man wants to live he must keep eating something are you getting me so walking experientially for eternal life to be culminated in you there is something that must be done in you please listen and this is where i want to balance this is what where we get the concept of immortality how many of you have heard all those teachings of immortality now unfortunately many people brought the teachings but they did not understand how the operation immortality is not something you claim immortality is a product of eating of the tree of life again and again it causes eternal life not just to translate from your spirit to your soul but to happen in your body and that's where you say oh death where is your sting are you getting what i'm saying now it so happens that our rate of transformation is so slow are you getting me now that the degradation of the sin nature in our body catches up with us before these capsules of rejuvenation find expression in us this is why although the law of immortality is at work not many people will ever enter it the secret is not just prayer for long life the secret 
is intercoursing with this eternal life that was how adam was supposed to live forever are you getting my point now so by eating of the tree of life that was why when he fell god said no you can't eat of the tree of life again because the tree of life keeps you in whatever state you are and stops you from dying if he ate of the tree of life salvation redemption would not be possible again so god drove him out are you seeing that now god didn't just drive him because he was angry he drove man out of the garden because he loved him praise the lord what is this i want to explain to you what is this mystery of forbidden knowledge look up how many of you have heard of certain books called the books of moses right 10 books of moses 11 books of moses how many of you have heard of all these extra biblical references that were written by egyptians and written by all kinds of people have you heard of those kinds of things how many of you have heard of people that lived long ago in mountains who wrote certain books that were found now listen if i don't teach you this because the lord began to reveal to me that this is the strategy the devil is bringing when the angels do you know why god did not want man to know i hope you know that adam never knew adam never knew that before his coming there was a history hallelujah he had never eaten of the tree that gives the knowledge of good and with it comes evil are you getting me adam was supposed to eat of the tree of life and continue his intimacy with god and reproduce children after his kind when satan came into the garden satan did not make adam sleep with a dog no he knew that that would not get the agenda done he said man come there is one tree i want you to touch just taste it once it will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say forbidden knowledge this is the information that through sorcery and witchcraft please hear me the fallen angels and all of these aliens and all of these devilish spirits they downloaded and brought to inhabitants in the earth are you getting me these were the informations that were given men like nimrod so they had super intelligence about certain things are you following me I want to shock you i hope you will believe me look at me did you know that most of our technological advancement are you getting me are as a result of fraternity with beings that were not in the earth are you getting me it had to be a supply of a level it's not just human discipline don't mind what all those books tell you just be hard working and think well no sir those people had interactions with beings is that how did solomon become extremely rich and blessed what happened to him god visited him from another realm is that not true they had a conversation listen this conversation is still happening in the earth till today are you following me let me share with you something very briefly i hope you believe me the bible says jesus was given the parable of the wheat and the tear is that true he said while men everybody while men hold on he says while men slept something happened in the earth realm where men were sleeping now the sleeping is not bad we always use that sleep to mean while men were backsliding no he meant literal sleep that means there is something that cannot happen when men are awake are you getting me jesus was telling us something powerful he says the moment men sleep some beings can walk into the earth and he said the enemy quickly comes plants something and goes his way so you wake up with a growth that was not there before you slept is somebody following me what happened who came and put it there while men slept 
are you seeing why the bible says the keeper of israel neither nor it says every time men sleep something happens in this earth realm there are certain beings that come into the earth realm that's why people sleep in the night and in their dream realms they have all kinds of encounters with beings and animals and all kinds of things happen from intercourse to eating to every kind of thing and they wake up the next day only for them to fail at work or fail in exams something happened while men The psalmist saw this in Psalm 91 and he says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, right? Nor the noisome pestilence. But many believers are dull of understanding. Dominion. Dominion is not just a function of I claim it, there is spiritual intelligence that can bring you into that position where you walk in dominion are you hearing what i'm saying please are you getting something so this tree of the knowledge of good and evil was never supposed to be consumed by man are you getting me look, look at me when you open that book you will find good but you will not know when evil is planted in the good are you getting what i'm saying that's why a pastor can go and read the 12th book of Moses or go and read Scientology and be looking at it and saying, wow, so candles or certain things can do something to witches and wizards. Everybody say forbidden knowledge. Are you getting that now? And then they read certain zodiac books and they look and they say, why not I add this knowledge? To what i already have are you getting what i'm saying and they will seem to walk powerfully that is the forbidden knowledge the tree of the knowledge of good and evil sometimes we celebrate it what do we call it rema is that true and we bring all kinds of things i've heard about men of god and prophets and all kinds of people who do every kind of nonsense in the body of Christ all kinds of magic happening everywhere I once heard of a man of God who came for a program and he was preaching and he called somebody he said look at me the person who looked at him became blind at once yes completely blind at once members were clapping people were running to come and drop seed I don't know what they were tapping into but they were running and everybody was happy watch this and then after the guy preached 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 he did everything and then he prayed again and the guy was open and he said for that reason everything that is closed in everybody's life you know i open it and you see everybody just shouting amen listen let me tell you listen listen will people get results they will get tremendous results are you hearing what i'm saying because the laws that have been operated are valid spiritual laws but this is the point because it was not initiated and sponsored by the spirit of god although it is correct knowledge it is called witchcraft so it's not about what produces result it's about the spirit of god initiating and sustaining that process hallelujah there are many teachings coming to the body of christ men and women of god who went to lock themselves to pray for three days and seven days or whatever and in the midst of this prayer because many people did not exalt the word above prophecy they had visitations but they were not of god however they were not visitations of inhabitants of the earth and they came and committed to them power and gave them all kinds of things and they came out from all of those experiences and you see power you see anointing but it is not initiated and sponsored by the spirit 
and the sign is number one the glory never goes to God such kinds of people never give God the glory because it is part of the agreement are you following me now it is God's desire that we grow the Bible even said knowledge shall increase but you must guard when the table is set before you you are only permitted to eat of the tree of life there is a kind of knowledge that only puffs up have you seen people hold on I want to say a few things that will challenge you have you seen a lot of people please I don't mean this for criticism or anything have you seen a lot of people who got mad as a result of prayer have you have you seen those kinds of things that somebody got to pray and he started praying until they took him to the psychiatry and locked him I remember a lady years ago this lady was praying in tongues seemingly for about almost 48 hours I was there ABU secure this girl was just praying 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 she wouldn't listen to anybody I wish I knew what I know now and the thing confuses the body of Christ hallelujah everybody say forbidden knowledge men of God if you are in ministry here you have to be very careful that that insatiable lust for rema and revelation you must guard carefully and let this that's why walking in the spirit is the secret it gives you life when you walk in the flesh you may learn a lot of principles that although they are powerful it leads men to death so the more revelation a man is getting the more he's dying not to self dying as a result of the absence of light see this is how you know is one character to know that a man is not of God when you compare the rate of revelation versus the rate of transformation when there is so much word conferences happening conventions happening meetings happening rema upon rema Bible study all kinds of things yet you do not see that that word is chaff it lacks the life to build people there is error I hope somebody is learning something here God put two trees and all the trees can supply knowledge for one it is the knowledge that brings life there are certain teachings on deliverance that does not bring life is that true there are certain teachings on deliverance that brings people into bondage because people added Bible knowledge plus confessions that they got from people who were once witches and wizards is that true and they added everything and they say if you want the devil to run away from you once it's nine o'clock wear red that that one is not in the Bible you see that that is that is deception dimension there I, I is somebody following what I'm saying I apologize if maybe these are the tenants of your church or your ministry I really apologize I love the body of Christ but I have to teach you the truth so there is the biblical concept of deliverance for instance then there are others who have spent their entire life interviewing seemingly witches and wizards begging for audience with herbalists to explain to them the realm of the spirit knowing that Satan is the father of all liars are you getting my point now and it is on the strength of those information they have built their prayer ministries or built a lot of things so when you want to pray for somebody you look and say uh -uh, I can't pray for you like this you are wearing a black shoe change it into a special kind of slippers that you wear when you enter my my this thing for the power to work this one is astrology and witchcraft is somebody getting what I'm saying or you get all kinds of candles with different colors this flame that flame this flame and you say now come and sit in the midst of it and just be calm as I drive this spirit uh-uh this is called transcendental meditation this is witchcraft hallelujah yet 
you come and sit down in the midst of that candle something suddenly happens to you and you start taking first in the class all of a sudden your intelligence is heightened you think beyond your level and because you're Are you following my story please because you are getting results you will be encouraged are you hearing what i'm saying be careful because many people are eating of the forbidden tree they are eating right now today here and now they are getting access to knowledge that seems to be producing results thank you but that knowledge is not of god Maybe some of us right here as you are sitting down are already in these deceptions. The moment you read those books, although they are blowing your mind, but something in your spirit starts checking. The Holy Ghost is telling you, uh -uh, when did you get into this? When did you get into this? And you see, these books are in our libraries. You can get them online. Many of you have watched every kind of thing. You see a man who has supernatural ability to listen to plants and animals and you sit down there are all kinds of books people research online how to hear the language of plants and animals and they put all kinds of codes they say recite it by 12 or 1 many christians you get up carry your big head and stand in front of the mirror and now recite it the last you recite it and just wake up and see that it's morning you slept something happened to you you may not know what happened again anytime god wants to take in and bring out of a man sleep happens and god calls adam to sleep hallelujah are you understanding this we're talking about dominion through through spiritual intelligence the knowledge that leads to death i'm going to share with you very importantly very quickly two laws even if it's just in five minutes wherever we stop that's it for the night two important spiritual laws that can help us i'm committed to making sure that god grants us spiritual intelligence that we have knowledge this is what makes you strong in the spirit prayer is good but it's not just enough to pray you must have knowledge so that when you see things you know what laws are in place and you know what to do about them knowledge takes away ignorance knowledge takes away shock from your life so that you are not surprised about anything when you hear that something has happened you don't just panic you understand hallelujah praise the name of the lord law number one is called the law of territory if you want to walk in dominion you must understand this law the law of territory everybody say the law of territory look up please dominion is territorial dominion is territorial even in the satanic organogram they understand the jurisdiction and the boundaries of territories there are spirits and principalities that do not operate in the earth realm it's not their territory of work are you getting me every time they are on the earth realm they are powerless there are certain demonic operations that are territorial i give you an instance when you go to certain territories in this nigeria you see that there are certain traits and satanic operations given to that territory when you go outside of the territory it doesn't seem to have a hold on you again is that true and you go into another territory maybe it's drunkenness that is there you go to another territory maybe it's lust and immorality the operations of the kingdom and the operations of the spirit are territorial every man every kingdom citizen must know this abraham come out of your father's house
come out of this territory where you are into a land that I will show you and if you do get to that land then I will bless you and you will be a blessing I will bless them that bless you and curse him that curses you and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed but that will only happen if you leave one territory to another everybody say dominion is territorial it's a spiritual intelligence that you must understand number two is that you must understand very very clearly that in the place of your assignment that is where you will exercise true dominion everything opens up for you at your assigned territory there is an assigned territory where the spirit of dominion can walk in your life hallelujah this is what a lot of people do not understand please look up you must take out time to hear from god are you getting me as to where he wants you to be at every season not just what you want him to do for you but where your blessings are territorial and isaac sowed in that land genesis 26 from verse 12 and isaac sowed not just in any land although there was famine god told him this is your territory of dominion so in that land a man of god may go to zamfara and sit down and say zamfara is not a lucrative place let me run to abuja for ministry and he goes outside of territory are you getting my point and you see a man struggling in a land of plenty he's struggling yet you will see another man in the same zamfara blessings coming from people those who are born again and those who are not born again because you are in the place of your territory say the law of territory Many of us right now are at the face of our lives where we are trusting to know where God wants us to settle for every season. It can change, but that in every season, there is a territory. You miss your territory, you will never walk in dominion. Because where God has assigned you, he has commanded the ravens to feed you. He has commanded the widow to attend to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll never forget when we finished the crusade in Joss and the PFN people called me in the particular local government in Joss and they said would you come and establish a branch of your ministry we'll give you an auditorium free and we'll give a few pastors to train I was happy I went to God God said you would die I told the PFN people God said I would die I'm really sorry I can't go as simple as that many of you would have said ah breakthrough God has buttered my bread and you will go there that's why you can see a ministry flourishing in a in a particular place and then they move to a place and it's as though god did not call them again favor is a sign that you are in the right place when i send thee lackest thou anything when i send thee lackest thou anything By the grace of God at this level of ministry, I can tell you, I am sure that we are in the place assigned. That's why it doesn't matter what venue we use. Whether it is Blue Roof, whether it is Charity and Faith, whether it's whatever. There seems to be grace backing us. So many people have called me. One lady said, them and their family members, they are praying that I must come to Abuja. They say, relocate, your level is bigger than Zaria. I said, I appreciate you. But I remember there was a man called Ahitophel in scripture. Don't let people advise you out of your destiny. They may be genuine. They look at you and say, Kai, Zaria, it's, it's too much for your level. You say it's true. Just that, what will we do? And you start thinking and pack your load out of your destiny into a land where there is no assigned space for you. You get into the land and there is no divine assignment for you. There's no space for you. You keep fighting and struggling with everybody. Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, 
let us remain in this territory where we are sure that your presence is with us this may be the answer to some of the tragedy of many of our parents they got up because of looking for greener pastures they just packed their load and said lagos here we come 10 years now they are still suffering every door shuts at your face it's a sign to go back for retreat and say lord speak to me speak to me where am i missing it don't just let jobs and all of these things decide your destiny i know this looks like a, a stupid statement and many people will criticize me for it they'll say are you joking in nigeria where there's no job but you must be careful you exercise dominion in the place of your territory your territory does not just mean the geography alone it means your jurisdiction of operation are you getting me if i go and enter the prophetic ministry right now as an office i'm not a prophet as an office i may operate in prophetic dimensions but god did not call me as a prophet in, in officially like your office your jurisdiction if i now say i'm going to come in and make sure i prophesy for everybody one by one i give you two weeks many of you will start praying and fasting for me because you will start having all kinds of dreams of me missing it you say oh god what is happening this guy is missing this thing there are many men of god who were called to be teachers or pastors but they they got outside of territory are you getting what i'm saying now there are other people who were called into prayer ministries their anointing is the anointing for intercession but they've now begun to teach wealth seminars and teaching all kinds of prosperity conventions that's not wrong except that you have come out of territory everybody say territory you will only walk in your dominion if you confine yourself and limit yourself to your territory your jurisdiction of operation there are certain dimensions of ministry if God instructs me to engage in, I will find graces that are called at the heart of that area and bring them. It doesn't matter whether I can preach more than them. It doesn't matter whether I have more miracles than them. Uh -uh. It's about the grace and the dominion. When a man is in his area of territory, you will exercise dominion freely. You see why a lot of pastors are struggling. You go to a church and copy what a man of God is doing. You do not know his his ministerial packaging are you getting my point so many people who are pastors trying to do the work of apostles little persecution comes and they are crying they cannot move forward because see when god calls a man he equips you according to the office when you learn this law you will walk in dominion absolute dominion there are things i have no business doing if God gives me an instruction, he will have to give me a special grace for it or direct me to the people who will administer that level of building to the body of Christ. Watch my knee calls it the limitation of the body. People struggle because they do not understand their jurisdiction of operation. Is someone getting blessed tonight? Your assigned territory. God has honored you in the area of catering. When it comes to catering, you walk in dominion there. The next thing you got up and you just heard that people are doing um, building materials and you just get up and go there. You say, I'm supplying building materials. Your first supply, there was trouble. Second supply, 10 years down the line, you are still struggling. Everybody say territory. Jesus the second law and then we will pray this one is very important it is a law that you must believe in and walk in it it's called the law of exchange this is a powerful spiritual law if you must walk in dominion giving something you love for something you desire is called the law of exchange the law of exchange you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created 
You took all my guilt and shame When you died and rose again Now today you reign In heaven and now exalted I really want to worship you my Lord You are my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one who died for me You gave your life to set me free And so I lift my voice to you In adoration Listen How many of you have heard that a man gave up his ability to give birth to children for money have you heard of that everybody say the law of exchange mm. when you understand this law you will know the reason why evil seems to happen in a place unhindered when the bible says an eye for an eye have you heard that tooth for tooth i've studied it it's not like when i break your teeth you will break back my own to revenge are you getting me it's called compensation that means if i do something to you you must take back something that can appease you to the equivalence of the offense are you getting what i'm saying it's called the law of exchange that's where we get trade by butter i give you a cow you must find something that is commensurate to the worth of that cow are you getting me that's why when man fell based on the justice of God God looked around to see what can be given he said if I give Gabriel it's not enough if I give Michael it's not enough do you know why because angels themselves are imperfect I hope you know it angels excel in light they excel in strength but they are still imperfect do you want me to show you Job Let's look at it one scripture you are the one who said i should show you turn to the book of job sorry about the time we'll round up now see ba 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 He could not give the angels because they are imperfect. Job 4. Please project it. Job 4, verse 18 and 19. I want us to read it together. Job 4. Can we hurry up? Our time is... Job 4. Everyone read. Want to read. He charges angels with what? Verse 19. He said even his servants, he didn't trust them. And even the angels, he charged them with foolishness. How much more a man that wants God to use him without being trained. <laughs> so God could not give Gabriel and Michael and all of these people. And so he looked at the perfect one, the sinless one, and said, you are the only one that can go as an exchange for what I desire. Please listen to me. The same principle Satan wanted to use for Jesus Christ. He took Jesus to the mountain and he said bow to me in other words let me give you wealth and exchange it with your loyalty for me are you getting my point just bow to me since you are the expression of the godhead bow to me so that the father will see you bowing to me and i can give you wealth so when a man goes to meet a herbalist he tells him what are you going to give me in exchange please listen i will tell you 
this is the reason why many territories are powerful this is why some of the terrorisms you see in nigeria are powerful they always give something in exchange for the authority to invade a territory that's why they do it military might irrespective are you getting my point when you come to god and say lord i want you to use me god says what is the exchange for it and he said lord take my life have you had that scripture that says what shall it profit a man if he does what and what loses his soul that means he said satan let's do business and satan said of course i'm a good businessman i will give you my soul give me the world so that anywhere i do business whether in italy whether in dubai let it work so that i must be the governor of this state or i must be this take my soul so that i will be the reigning musician and nobody can stop me and he says all right let's have the deal and he says take my soul they have received the mark of the beast that's the 666 there it's not something that will be put on their hand they have given their soul they have received the mark are you getting my point so satan comes to you what do you want to give in exchange please listen something must be given in exchange if you must walk in true dominion everybody knows this it's not a herbal strategy it's a spiritual strategy i'm walking in the anointing i'm walking in by the grace of god because i received this of grace but something went for it my life my will my ambitions my desires they were laid down that's why i wrote that song take all of me all of me you have my everything that's my deal with god you have my everything are you getting me so my entire life will give him glory the day i compromise on my own part of the deal his mercy will show up but if i walk in rebellion i have broken the deal that's the reason why a man can give an exchange he will say i will give you my firstborn only give me this political position when the firstborn is now born the people come and say oh yeah oh, we gave you the power we gave you the wife where is our firstborn and you say sorry i didn't realize that children are this nice i've changed my mind they say you've changed your mind we will see all of a sudden the child starts getting sick they must collect their child except the power of god intervenes this is the reason why many families are suffering people covenanted families in exchange for money kings covenanted their territories are you hearing what i'm saying they gave it in exchange for protection they gave it there are families that gave in exchange their fertility so no children can happen in that family there are families that traded boys they said there shall be no men take give us might what men would have done let the women in our family do but take all the men and you find out that no matter how people try they will never give birth to men they give birth to men they will die no matter what happens you just hear that he was taking fresh air outside a bike came and carried him are you hearing what i'm saying exchange see these laws are not old testament laws they are spiritual laws they are still working today here and now are you hearing what i'm saying this is the law that terrorists use before they ever carry an assignment they must take out time are you seeing the reason why every time they shed blood people become richer think about it the moment blood is shed somebody makes money exchange 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 are you seeing the reason why the sacrifice of solomon touched the lord he offered a thousand bond offerings it was an expression of his heart god could not stop he came down many of us may never walk in dominion because you are not ready to exchange your life for his life you are not ready to exchange your strength for his strength but tonight how many people 
are ready to say lord take everything if this is the price for your grace and your glory don't let anybody fool you and say there's no price you go to a herbalist and see if he will just give you power like that look at me there are men who sacrifice their wives for wealth true or false some christians right there are pastors who sacrifice their children for church growth there are pastors who sacrifice their members for expansion i've said it again and again nothing just happens the day jesus will come we have a long wall film to watch that's when we will know that most of the things we call coincidences were not coincidences hallelujah listen let me tell you something i will never forget one time i was praying in the night years ago and i prayed and i was dedicating my body unto god i stripped myself the way my mother gave birth to me and i lay down on the floor i said lord let this body become a superconductor of your anointing if there is anything you can do to this mortal body let it carry your power this body cannot be used for sin and hell it, it i dedicate it unto you and god said this is what you are giving me i will put my glory upon your life and somebody just comes and says, god give me give me give me give me give me and the lord the demons are just looking and say look at all these ignorant people these are the negotiations that many scientists did with aliens are you getting me many intelligent people they said give us give us technology give us the wisdom you used and gave the pharaohs of old give us and let us do supernatural things in exchange we will give you the souls of men we will give you mankind we will give you a lot of things and it's happening here in the earth that's why you can see a man sitting down all of a sudden within two weeks this man becomes a mysterious millionaire either god has done something to him or the devil has done something there was an exchange somewhere a man of god is sitting down and all of a sudden power comes upon his life he begins to do supernatural things i tell you there is an exchange he has either gone to the throne of grace to exchange his life and say lord take it take my life and use me for your glory or he has gone to a herbalist and say take my firstborn or every two two years kill 10 members from my church as a sacrifice and let the anointing keep rising the life that i now live paul told us the secret of his anointing he said the life that i now live i live by the faith of god I surrender all to you Everything I give I'm teaching you spiritual laws Withholding nothing Withholding nothing Listen, you can copy a man if you have not laid down what that man laid down you will never carry what he carries are you hearing what i'm saying you can copy the way he talks you can wear suits like him if you cannot lay down and exchange what that man exchanged in the secret place you will never that's why you can listen to a message that may not be so powerful by a man of god but tremendous grace follows it because there is a fraternity with god that's why you can see a herbalist. He can make people millionaires, but he lives in a coven. It was the exchange for the power. He can make people billionaires, but he will never stay in a big house. He will never wear good clothes. He will wear rags. Papa Ia Deboe, I shared it last week. He's made it a vow and a culture that everywhere he goes, he will get down on his knees. That was his exchange for the kind of glory what are you exchanging let me tell you when you enter into the realm of the spirit 
you will see men who have exchanged things men who have given their souls to herbalists they want the same job you want they want the same business you want they are killing human beings and sacrificing it and you are just standing lukewarm there is no sacrifice there's no exchange and you believe in the labor market and compete with them there must be an exchange it is this exchange that will end sickness in your body is this exchange that can make angels come and cover your plane so that it will not crash it's not just about you you have exchanged something in the spirit he said i shall not die this is the exchange for living long i will live to declare there are some people that are unkillable it's not about confession i will leave you don't know what they have done in the secret place that's why god can kill a whole nation for the sake of that man jacob have i loved esau have i hated when laban laban did not know the exchange he didn't know what happened between the mother of jacob and esau laban wanted to cheat jacob that anointing came and animals started reproducing after the the, the, the colors of jacob's animal and laban said ah i testify that god has blessed me listen when a man has made an exchange in the realm of the spirit you touch him to your own detriment because there is an altar that speaks for him my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god listen this is why you can see certain people shout and say i can never be poor they say i can never die i've told you i remember when i packed everything that i had home and abroad i put it in one bag and i went to a prosperity convention my entire life belonging home and abroad aside from the current clothes that i was wearing it took a sacrifice to put your family in the covenant of poverty it will take an exchange to bring them out don't let any man fool you i dragged those things to the altar i sat down outside like the overflow like this i know we've taken time but what i'm sharing is somebody's deliverance tonight any powerful man you see from today let me tell you something there was an exchange is an irrefutable spiritual law either to god or to the devil crowd does not just come are you hearing me koinonia people are not just coming because they want to come there is a force there is the strength of sacrifice unto god a covenant of teaching truth it's a fraternity with god oh god bring the people and i will teach them truth bring the people and i will teach them no matter what it will cost me and god said the deal is done and a young pastor just gets up and believes that is by church growth principle you come posters everywhere knock from door to door and the realm of the spirit is saying do you not know there is a law you see when you introduce jesus to the situation the calculation changes uh -uh. something that should be zero just because you introduce the reality everything changes the psalmist said i had fainted but god i had fainted i knew that i was over but god when they brought him into the situation it changed everything stop listening to lies there are lies on tv are you hearing what i'm saying there are lies that we hear on newspapers oh stop tithing all those men of god are out to collect your money it's with your money they used to buy clothes and they rob you and you listen to a lie and stay back and authorize satan to destroy you our society is full of lies people make money through lies jesus the truth there were many things I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up those who were successful were very far from me culturally speaking societally speaking there was a mindset that was communicated but when I began to search the word goodness I found another report 
a report I was not born with. And all of a sudden, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me. You know, today we took a stroll, um, myself and the head of protocol, after we went to greet a bereaved family, we went somewhere and I was taking them inside the campus and I decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building. And while I started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes where almost I was trying to fight tears. Do you know why? Because I saw locations where years ago I sat down to study the truth. I passed one place, a botanical garden on your way to the dam. I used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down. Broke, but had access to the truth. A failure and a mediocre, but had access to the truth. And this Bible, God gave me an assurance with the word. If you believe me, I will not play games with you. And I was stupid enough to believe. I said, Lord... After all, by default, I don't even have much. So if I don't believe you, I don't have any option. Ah! Look what is made in my life. Listen, if you choose to believe the truth, he will change you. They've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is... There is, uh, there is something you are not, you know, you need to go and connect to this. You need to do that. I believe in favor. But favor is only when it comes from God to men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so-so-so person in federal ministry of this, you will never get a job. That's how we do it. You are not part of the we. And you find out. And the Bible says, that when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that's the truth. That he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Are we together? Listen, the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you. You can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities. Is the part you find. I have found from this word listen and i don't want you to be offended by what i'm saying but i found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days i found it i used to fear death i think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching i got about death was that any day it can meet you anytime and it looked like a very sincere talk until i searched I said, God, but how can I live my entire life being afraid? I'm going to live a life traveling all the time. Right? I'm in the air. I'm on road. In the morning, in the afternoon, there are armed robbers, weather conditions. What is the guarantee that I'm going? I mean, I can't live my life. I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid. I want to go and heal the sick, cast out demons. But me, the man of God that God will use, you are now afraid whether you arrive safely. As soon as you arrive, your heart returns back and you are like, thank you, Jesus. What is torturous way of living? But there is a truth. Ha! Ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we're gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, 
when they were fixing this place what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled what was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world is the truth there is an information you know the power of God that I believe you oh God and I'm ready to follow you will not lie to me I believe you you are not a man that you should lie not the son of man I don't doubt him I believe you my experiences notwithstanding I still believe you number three Jesus the life hmm. a revelation of his power and his ability to make a life Jesus the life John 11 verse 25 to 26 an event happened there Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth, and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes i know for now i do not have a job i lost my job yes i know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the bible says very interesting well let's finish it i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believeth on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us seven to nine job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah 
when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way i know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive let we just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can't work so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving god I, I i know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake i know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing i hear the joy coming hey I hear the breakthrough coming I hear the sound coming Sound of abundance and joy I see the lifting coming yeah. Hold on Listen I tell you the, the, the anointing of God is strong upon me Sit down, sit down, sit down Give us that scripture again Give us that scripture because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. Let the devil hear you. Let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say, will she ever rise with this carryover, with 11 carryovers, will you ever rise? The Bible says there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. it says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease we are reading to verse 9 though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet kabaratos kebranda katashiata hold on it is a through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and heat at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere and you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die ah look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god well will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen 
it is true that Jesus died but he didn't die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say I know this lady oh, this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask Rahab Shabbatos Kotabriata listen do you know why God instructed that they killed everybody in Jericho he did not want anyone who knew Rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of Jesus listen when God wants to make nonsense of Satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me God and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know God this God we serve are we together I always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to Zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about Saul God was seeing Paul ah. apostle but I don't even know who my father is I'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background I came from don't worry the God of Israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of God with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on Zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when God was going, he had to climb the tree. And God said, come down, Zacchaeus, it's your house I'm going. Let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house. And at once, Zacchaeus said, I will repay everybody. And Zacchaeus completely changed. Hear me? I came to preach to someone tonight. There is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life. The life. The life. Jesus the life. Jesus the life. Jesus the life Jesus the life that everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the God that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter Jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about God here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cysts and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me Mordecai Mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book 
and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day god gets angry and vows by his name i have seen this truly speaking that god vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when god vows a vow to lift a man i tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that god can say the appointed time is come i've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles god just vowed with his name tonight i want your faith to be please look listen you have come before god this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open i want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but i perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life to draw from you again hey, hey. To drink from you again yeah. To drink from you again yeah. Yeah. We've come to the road the same tonight i insist lift your voice and pray lord i can't go back the way i came i place a demand a demand on your anointing Prayer point number two Change my level, oh God Change the dimensions Take me to another level 
attention praise the Lord hallelujah there's a lot to do tonight we're going to do it in this order I'm going to take the altar call now and then tonight we're going to start with the sick I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing hallelujah now quickly let me have your attention my God the power of God is so strong so strong I already see activities of angels you're in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three. Celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run! No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back I have decided To follow Jesus No turning back No turning back I'm seeing three people in overflow Three There and the Holy Spirit is telling me They are supposed to be part of these people Overflow three Please, quickly, there's so much to do. There are three people I'm seeing in overflow, three outside. And the Lord is telling me they should be there. Don't allow your friends stop you. I'm still going to give one more minute. One more minute. As the Holy Spirit is convicting you, you're saying, I want to come, but I'm a bit shy. 
run make your way quickly come and join us come and join us hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on hold on now you see when most people give their lives to christ they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we're not talking about a husband or wife the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower please hear me as you are here make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it please don't don't play games with god this is the god of heaven i want you to say this from the depth of your heart all of you in front here and those joining quickly if you are joining them make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin i believe that you resurrected for me this night i have heard your word and i declare that i need you in my life i hand over my life to you from now and forever i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today i am a child of god satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiving i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life i set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise god now i will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service i want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um i'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head i set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter i decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something i'm seeing in your stomach i decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of jesus christ now we are going to pray uh there are certain cases i want to deal with by myself tonight um any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please i will pray for people 
overflow one i want you to march to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um a crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for please i want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we're going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that i ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because god has anointed us for this reason hallelujah god has anointed us it's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to god's people make your way quickly look how many people need the touch of god what a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the lord to touch and heal and bless everyone lift your voice and pray everyone lift your voice lift your voice pray it's a miracle service please those that are coming in from outside make sure it's only blood related diseases terminal diseases terminal diseases otherwise you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you father you have anointed you have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place tonight we pray that there will be abundance abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, might leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust god um shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of god and um so we're going to pray i think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you and uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this lord we agree right now in jesus name my god there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people lord i decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of jesus christ let the anointing of the holy spirit come upon you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let the fire of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ 
I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Um, Shade and Promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road. Shade and Promise, Benga and um, Femi, this overflow. And then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha. Um, huh? Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, they join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe. There is healing in your name as we worship, as we worship in your presence. There is healing, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle time is flowing. It's Holy Spirit, Holy 
Jesus. There is healing in your name. And as we worship, as we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit. I want you to believe that there is no power holding on to your destiny that will go back with you. Please believe this night. There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way. Because she was nothing at all. She was employed, but oppression after him, oppression. There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um... I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me, right now from here, I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked. I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person, wherever you are, in this congregation i decree and declare right now that the power of god touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's stand i'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body lord in the name of jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this our mother how long has this been? This is one year now. A year plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her, this her eyes. I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going You see it down. from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And then, Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground on ground like enchantment i say it again whoever is responsible for terminating attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow her now. god bless you see let me tell you something brothers and sisters wickedness is very very real very real very very real very very real i want you to lift your voice in one minute and say father judgment tonight pray lift your voice everything that must give way 
for the next level of my destiny to be open I command it so now by the power of the Holy Ghost pray inside pray outside pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost pray Shaka toko 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 kesh Reke teke teka tabada bada bada bas Mata kato she preke te Lente preke taba shabara da bada da bada bada Leke ta proska taba randa ka praska taba da tosh Are you praying? Make sure you are praying Let her go now I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit's running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we're going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of a flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Braka doso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto breke teli abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, 
I release that fire right now from road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger in the name of Jesus, every stranger outside, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, online. I cost that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, from road to road, the power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to give way. Haroto Sose Sesiatata Rakatos Kabaria Dabala Koto Shubia. Hallelujah. Everyone, say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare, anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now, on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now. Visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams, appearing as men, appearing as women, appearing as animals, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, Jesus the life is destroying any dead. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils, those strangers, strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you. I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Say, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies 
nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destiny is open right now oh god i declare that every padlock over any man's destiny over any man's life at the count of three they are open one two three Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire! 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 Upon every family. Fire! Fire! The spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing but as i pass your role i'm seeing fire on my left and right tonight is the ministry of fire and like a wildfire it will pass you and begin to consume things some of you as i pass that physical fire that heat lord let it be right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Rakato Shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil. From every row, row to row. Row to row, row to row. That fire right now. Every witchcraft, every power. Every witchcraft, every power. Tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. I hear what I'm saying now. It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. 
a chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, 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 now. It's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Get it. Get it now. Breaking now. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right. Right. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them. Help them. Please hold them. Break. Elisha, 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 who is that? Elisha, where are you coming from? Maybe you, sir. Maybe you. Maybe you here. Yes. I want to pray for you. The Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough. Yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? Daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer. I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere.
recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but i'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of jesus never again by the power of the holy ghost please i know it's raining but participate god is touching people i'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back i decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah toying What's your name? My son is Tony. Tony. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is Tony. i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands i will pray for you i will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family hold my hands with both of your hands your family must be free from witchcraft lord jesus ah fire fire on every altar fire on every altar of witchcraft i command i use as a point of contact and pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness are you towing huh? you have bad luck bad luck on your life very bad luck hold my hands hold it with both of your hands lord jesus this is a miracle service set this lady free this yoke of bad luck i decree and declare that it must leave you right now in the name of jesus christ it must leave you right now your sister in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the same way god is touching her may god touch you too in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, my dear, you are doing my auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a mother. And her immediate younger sister, she was also a Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus through you let it touch your family please don't come out carelessly don't come out why why is she out why are you out my dear huh my sister is doing okay I'll lay my hands on you be free of your mother your mother something is leaving your mother in the name of Jesus 
I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Kai, what is this? Look at, I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. Rakoto Shoto I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the throne. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Memuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Memuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Memuna. I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Sister. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air, forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin. We were here last week. 
But you didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God touch them, whatever their issues are, I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears. Sometimes from your pocket, sometimes from your bag. I'm not talking of stealing. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just come out carelessly. Phys money, you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less. It has disappeared. Who is that? I need to pray for you. It's a very serious issue. Yeah, na 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 na. You? Hallelujah. Kai, the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat. It was looking at you. You were wave your hands. Let me know you are the one I'm talking to. Come out, come and stand here. I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms, that's not what I'm this. This is a special, unique demonic case. Come. Kai. This lady, I have to pray for you. Favor zero. Breakthrough zero trouble hundred percent father in the name of jesus change this face i'm seeing jacatos copra cato zacato dia cata bacanda praticia lecos capranda gada suze brekete catos in the name of jesus zecata tata suzia mante pros cata prande cato dia cata jacas ken de cos akras cate zeketons camatan zecata reketo segete kete kata bacata Mam prato soto bere kete riakata sa se 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 kata ma proto soto topaka e priata sada siata shakel kata mas kata bariakato e pre kete 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 rekos koso so pe kete de kata me priata si se koto so pariakata break the chains break the chains break the chains break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there is no hiding place. You hallucinate. This lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel? She can live. Not vision. Live physically. This lady. I command that wicked spirit. In the name of Jesus. And whatever she sees about you, except you are powerful, it must happen. It's a spirit. She doesn't even know why. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be tired. I know our time is gone, but it's raining. Let, let, let's just visit these things because... Come. You are a beautiful girl, but no favor in your life. Shift. Let me talk to this. This yellow girl. Come, run. God wants to wipe your tears. Ah, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head. Come, you must be delivered thoroughly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this cause of disfavor is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato soto bakata randa koto soto kete barakata i decree and declare every legal access of darkness 
I cause it right now. I cause it right now. I open the doors. I open the doors from the realm of the spirit. Let there be favor over your life. In Jesus' name, hold on, sir. I need to pray for you. This encounters, supposed encounters, has retrogressed your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now. You too. You see your grandmother. Where are you from? Kalaba. No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you do you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you. This is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Someone has fallen down there. Please let the doctors attend to the person. Make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kai, you, come. What business do you have to do with dead people? Dead people. Eh? Hold my hands. Say in Jesus' name. Say it seriously. In Jesus' name. Every affiliation with the dead, I curse it now. I release an anointing upon you now. Everything you have to do with dead people. In Jesus' name. Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Huh? Mm -mm. You are not serious with Jesus. Hold my hands. How are you? Don't be embarrassed, but um, the first thing you need is your relationship. I'm looking at you. I can't, I don't want to embarrass you, but you need Jesus seriously. I love you, eh? That's why I'm helping you. I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the, who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. He's, your own is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to, in, your destiny is needed. Please go and see. He will talk to you. Now, all of you who are having these issues, I'm going to lay my hands on you now. When I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. There is this strange Kai. I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you will feel yourself you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed there's somebody with that case that situation right now i have to pray for that person right now i have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack. Serious poverty. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Nothing works. Yes, sir. Your life is like a basket. Anything that enters goes out. I'm not embarrassing you. Eh? You are saying the Money truth. leaves your hand. Even if they give you one million, it must find a way of going. Yes, yes sir. You are man, but money does not stay. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Do you tight? Yes, sir. You are not consistent. One. Two. Um you see this consistency of titan is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent praise god god blesses you 10 times you tight once your heavens are completely closed father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now and i command breakthrough in jesus name let me lay my hands quickly now you're the god of miracles amazing god in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! You're the God of wonder. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. Go now and cost that spirit.
five minutes and we're out of this place please I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the Lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ a new dimension a new level cameraman God is wiping your tears keep the camera first wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady is standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly. The Lord is asking me to release family now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus. Anyone here who has lost anything in your life, I declare, I'm seeing 28 in 28 days. Shato Soto Koto Pakata. 28 days from now, I command that it comes back to your hands. I command that it comes back to your hand. I command that it comes back to your hand. Anyone here who has been victimized by life, by circumstances, by men, I decree and declare. May the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction. You are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction. Strange encounters that bring you direction. 
the yoke of poverty and hardship and lack I command it to live your life now I command it to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now I pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting God for as a family I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now I decree and declare from tonight not tomorrow from tonight let it start working in your life strange favor in your life strange favor in your life God has placed his honor upon this ministry I pray for you from today anywhere you go whether they know you or not I command them to honor you believe it I command honor upon your life in the name of Jesus two more prayer points and we are done whatever has made your pace of your life slow some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny at the rate you are going you will not do much in your lifetime I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life your prayer life your fasting life word life passion for God passion for the house of God right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar prayer fire on your altar word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.